Hi everyone, this is a pick a card reading for Will Everything Be Okay? So in your mind, if you are worried about a certain situation in your life, which can be really, I mean, it could be anything, right? It could be to do with maybe how you're feeling, it could be to do with what's happening in the world, it could be to do with your career or maybe your love life, a family issue, a friendship issue, whatever it is, have it in your mind and that's what we're going to be reading on in this video. So we have three readings and this is a pick a card reading. So whichever particular deck you're drawn to, that's going to be the reading for you. So we have group one, group two and group three. And then in the description box of my video, you'll find the timestamps where you can click on the timestamp and it will take you to your reading. It's also a very purple reading as well. Um, this actually does glow purple too, which is really pretty but it makes a lot of noise so I just turned it off for the time being but in the in the um, thumbnail you see it growing uh, growing glowing <laughs> purple so with that being said you know purple to me is such a beautiful color which represents healing right amethyst it has that healing energy it's just a very calming energy it's also known to be a very intuitive color as well and um, we see purple in the chakras as well. We also see purple in representing luxury too. So it has lots of meanings across the board, but we're going to see what's coming through and we're going to see if everything will be okay. So I also want to mention if you'd like to win a free reading with me, do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information will also be in the description box below as well. They are done within 24 to 48 hours. And the last thing I want to mention is my intention bracelets are on Etsy. So this is the Crystal Gem Healing Bracelet, which also kind of reflects a little bit of purple depending on the light. I can see the purple from here but it does sort of reflect. It's got this kind of iridescent um, colour to it. Um, so yeah, you know, I have lots of different bracelets on there. They are meditated with, they are saged, they are spiritual bracelets and they're handmade by me, sent out by me and free international shipping. If you want to see the reviews and see how other people have seen results of them, please do head over to my Etsy shop. The link will be in the description box below. And I also have a Patreon if anyone is interested in becoming a Patreon or checking out exclusive content that I don't post anywhere else but on here. Um, yeah, exclusive content basically that I don't post here. That's what I meant. <laughs> That's what I meant. Um, then yeah, you know, Patreon is also going to be in the description box below as well. All right, so let's have a look and see. First of all, we're going to start with group number one, which is this one here. So I'm just going to very carefully move the other two groups out of the way. Let's begin. All right, so group number one, will everything be okay? So whatever your situation is that you're thinking about and you're wondering, is this thing going to be okay? We're gonna be reading on that. I'm sure lots of information will come out, um, ways to also perhaps even, I guess, go forward with things. And um, there may be some advice that comes through as well. So let's have a look and see what comes through. Also the cards that I'm using on my channel, they will be in the description box below. So let's begin straight away. Kind of matches my nails actually. <laughs> I've got a proper purple theme. I did not plan this. And then when I saw the cards, I was like, you know, I really want to use these cards again. I feel really drawn to them. And it just, it ended up, it ended up being. Will everything be okay? Two of Cups. Oh, sorry. Sometimes when I put crystals down, I get quite a lot of the um, the excess come off of it because they are quite crumbly at times. Okay, that's much better. Okay, much, much better. Two of Cups. Yeah. Whatever your situation it, it is, it will align to your needs. That's what I'm seeing. I know we're only one card in, but trust me, there's so much information I feel, you know, that's going to come through and come out in this reading. So much is going to, it's like a volcano. We're only really getting the smoke coming out of a volcano right now. I feel like this reading is going to erupt and there's going to be a lot of information. So do stay with me. But yes, the short answer is things will be okay. Your situation that you are currently worried about or wondering about, 
or reflecting and pondering upon, it will be okay. The other thing that I'm seeing as well is that it's going to align to your needs and become very mutual. So whatever your situation is, be it love, career, or whatever's going on in the world, or certain people around for a certain situation, I really see that particular thing getting better over time and it aligning to what you need in your life. If there's a wish that you have in regards to this and how you would potentially like it to pan out, how you would like it to fix, if that makes any sense, like fix, I do see that it's going to be able to serve what you want in that sense, like your wish will come true. And the Two of Cups is beautiful because it's such a divine card, an absolutely stunning, stunning, stunning divine card, which is also about knowing that the universe is protecting you. So this particular situation has become what it is up to this point because it was meant to be this way. The universe is protecting you and sometimes we don't understand how it's protecting us if certain things are not going the way that we want them to go. But what I can tell you is sometimes the universe has allowed us to actually avoid certain obstacles and challenges which leads us to this point. And we will never really fully know what obstacles and challenges we have missed on the point up till here. But let me just tell you, the guides are saying is that things could have been much worse. And for some of you, you may feel like, wow, I mean, like, but things could, you know, things are worse. For some of you, that's the case, you know, where you are at this video and you are thinking, I just don't know what's happening anymore. Like things are the worst that they could be. I still see that things could have been much worse. So that's what I'm seeing here. And the Two of Cups shows this very, very divine um, and solid solid card which is also an angel card which shows that things are working in your favor you may not feel like they are but trust me I really feel that things are working working in your favor and things will get to that point where you feel like okay things really have gone in the direction that I may not have necessarily wanted them to go in but eventually it it aligns to what you want long story short it aligns to what you want so everything is going to be okay, but trust that this is part of the path. Trust that everything that's happening up until this point is meant to be happening the way that it is. And remember, anything that's meant for you in your life will never pass you by. And that's such a powerful thought. Sometimes we can really hold on to certain situations, certain people, certain scenarios, and think that, that really is the best thing for us. And what I do see is that sometimes if we just let go of the grip, right? Let go of that grip, whatever you're holding on to, let it flow. You know, the fear is in letting letting that grip go, but then let the universe do its thing. Let the divine work the magic and also surrender your problem at the feet of the divine. You know, say to the divine, I surrender this at your feet. And what you can find is that things may manifest much more because you, you're sort of just not holding on to it as much and you're not draining your energy in trying to, you know, make something happen you're, you're sort of just letting things flow and letting things flow, especially with that water energy with the two of cups can be one of the most powerful things. So what I am seeing, right, is everything will be okay in this situation, this scenario, and I do feel that it will go in your favor. So you will essentially get what you want out of the situation. But at the same time, it is about just letting it go, um, letting the, letting everything just flow, basically. That can be so much more powerful, I think, even for your mind. It can be hard sometimes to just like let the, the grip of something go and surrender the problem at the feet of the divine, but it can be such a powerful thing as well. Everything will be okay. Nine of Cups, King of Cups. I've got a lot of cups here. I mean, I don't mind having cups. Got the Hierophant too. But we can definitely sense, and when I say we, mean the Spirit Guides, obviously we work as a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. We really do sense that there's a lot of emotions involved in this situation. There's definitely you perhaps thinking to yourself, oh, you know, I'm not sure if things are going to get better. I'm not sure if it's really going, going to go in the way that I should. I'm not sure if I should continue with this particular situation or not. I, I, I don't know, you know, if things will be better in three, four, five months or even tomorrow. And you may really be processing a lot of that information by yourself, be spending so much more time with yourself. And it might be driving your mind 
into overdrive. It might be making you think 100 miles per hour and it might make you feel like you're going insane. But what I would say is you're not going insane. You're just thinking in a very rational way. So if you feel your mind going 100 miles per hour, just know that it's it's okay. It's more so that you're acknowledging everything rather than running away from everything. So by you actually acknowledging everything in this situation, you're so much more spiritually awakened. And that helps you to also connect to the divine a lot more. And the divine will help you because the divine acknowledges how you feel in the sense that you know how you feel. So that's what the King of Cups, uh, yeah, King of Cups right here is showcasing, and the Nine of Cups here shows a wish. So as I mentioned, what you wish for in the situation is going to happen. What you want in the situation will manifest. Things will be okay, and I also feel like it's a lot to do with your emotions. Again, you know, let things flow. Acknowledge your emotions. Know how you feel, and that will also help things as well on a very spiritual level. The King of Cups here is also about knowing that in time you are going to feel very strong and confident and comfortable in this situation to the point where you feel like nothing can knock you around and you're actually going to feel like you're in a place of power where you are going to have to be the one making choices, where the ball is going to be in your court, tables will have turned in your favour, you're not going to be in the situation where you're going to be worrying is everything okay, you'll be the one saying everything is okay. So that's, that's the kind of shift we're seeing in terms of energy. And I think that's amazing. It's really beautiful. It's very divine. I have to say it's really exciting. I'm not going to lie. It's super exciting to be able to say something like that, see something like that. I think it's beautiful. And also it gives you strength and it gives you stability, but also emotional stability and mental stability as well, which I see coming your way. So the situation may be challenging right now. It may be uncertain to you right now, but I know that in time there will be certainty this too shall pass. You will get through this and you will find a resolve in this situation and there will be overall a resolve. So that's what we're seeing there because the resolve comes through as the Hierophant which shows stability, strength and it shows here a real sense of resilience in many ways where it really showcases that what you want again you will get but also that you will feel confident and comfortable in the situation. Even the Nine of Cups is a very comforting sort of energy and a very comforting card, which is very important. Now, of course, the Hierophant is ruled by Taurus, and that Taurus energy is a very strong energy about, yes, you may encounter this as a stubborn patch and period in your life, but also this, because, you know, Taurus is known to have that stubborn energy, Taurus is all, all about also... Um, stability and uh, comfort and feeling good, having feeling like you have that blanket wrapped around you in comfort, protection, should I say. So this period of time, you will get through it. And as you go through this period of time, in your future, you'll look back at it and you'll think, wow, I'm so much more comforted now. I've got what I really want now. I feel so much more stable now. I feel so much more joyful now. And also, this uh, Hierophant energy really showcases a place of power. Again, you've got the King of Cups, you've got the Hierophant. These are powerful energies, powerful cards. So your situation from now to the future is definitely going to transform. It's definitely going to feel like it's, it's, you've gone the distance. Yeah, there you go. You can't make this up. You just can't make this up. You've got the Queen of Cups here and then you've got the Two of Cups. So you've got the King and the Queen and then you've got the Two of Cups, which is essentially what the, the King and the Queen would offer. So here we have a situation where, again, it's pretty much a reiteration of what I said with the Two of Cups, where your situation will resolve and it will be on the same wavelength and the same page. So for example, I'm just giving an example. If those, of, if there's you know, those of you worrying about love and a love situation or even a career situation, what you have wanted from your career or your love life or from a specific person, it aligns to what you want. Okay, if there is um, something you want to happen in this world and you want things to just be okay, you want people to be healthy and you just want things to get back to normal, again, it aligns to the way in which you are wanting certain things to be okay. So that's what I'm seeing. Okay, so whatever it is, again, in your situation, you're wondering, you know, will this particular thing or will everything be okay? It Yes, it will be because it aligns again. 
it's not an out of balance kind of energy. Right now, things may be out of balance, but in the future, yes, everything will be okay. So then it aligns. Eight of Wands, that's a lot of progress, a lot of progress. And also, you know, you have got the King of Cups, which shows that stability, but it also shows you again with this Queen of Cups, acknowledging everything, feeling everything, feeling vulnerable at times. And that's okay. That just shows that you're in line and in tune with your emotions and your intuition. It's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. I say it's good to acknowledge emotions. You know, there are naturally some people that are not most, you know, mainly that emotional or may not show their emotions. It's hard for them. And that's okay. You know, on the spectrum of things, we're all different people. We're all very, very different in how we feel things and show things. But um, I would say that, you know, feeling things is very different to then saying it to other people. So there's a lot of people out there that may not show that they have these emotional sort of um, feelings and emotional sort of um, emotions. That doesn't even make any sense. Emotion kind of... <laughs> emotional emotions? Basically what I'm trying to say is that there's many people out there that won't show how they feel, but they will feel it deep down. They will feel it. They just won't tell people. Okay, so the Queen of Cups here shows you feeling your emotions, which I think is very, very important. And some of you may not be the most showing in terms of emotions. You may just keep that to yourself, and that's totally fine. But it is important to feel what we feel and not to shove it so deep down that we can't then acknowledge what we feel. So that's just what I'm seeing. And this is the beautiful balance that I'm seeing within you, where there's something you want to acknowledge, it will be acknowledged. And eventually things are aligning and coming your way, things are matching, the puzzle pieces are coming together. Here we have the, I said this was the eight of wands, it's actually the five of wands. So <laughs> let's just go back on that a little bit. It actually looks, from where I'm sitting, it looks like the eight, but it's actually the five. So the Five of Wands here is about confusion. It's about wondering if everything is okay. It's about wondering if everything is going to be okay. It's about conflict and chaos of the mind. It is about sometimes feeling like, but what if everything then doesn't become okay? And that also, it's a fear as well that can really create a catalyst in terms of what we feel. So I feel like some of you are wondering, you know, if things will be okay, but then your mind is also going into all of these scenarios and situations where it's playing out, but what if this happens? And what if that happens? And what if this doesn't get resolved in this much time? And then what if this happens to this and that happens to that? So what I'm seeing is that this is causing even more chaos and conflict. And what I would say in the situation is try not to have fear. Fear feeds fear. It's like, uh, you know, the flames, it just erupts. But the five of wands also shows change. Fives and tarot showcase change. And that's what I'm seeing is that by not feeding fear and instead having faith, like I said with the analogy of leaving your problems at the feet of the divine and really believing that things will be okay as well and knowing that things will be okay in time, you'll be able to change this because that's what fives in tarot are about. It shows a current energy, but it also shows that there's a huge probability that it can also change. So that's what's happening with the five of wands, okay? It's showing right now that yes, you are perhaps overthinking and that's okay, right? Overthinking is totally fine. Look, I'm a Virgo sun. Virgos are known to overthink. So don't take that in a bad way that I said that, okay? It is okay to overthink, but you may be overthinking to the point where you are perhaps making up all of these other scenarios in your mind. And that's just the way in which you feel everything. That's the way in which you think about things. But, you know, that's also fear being triggered into it or within it, should I say. So, by having faith instead of fear, we can also change how we feel and then positivity attracts positivity and it's fear over faith and fear is then not attracting more fear in your mind. So then this conflict starts to change and it starts to become, you know, your mind starts to become a little bit more at peace in that sense. So that's just what I'm saying. Okay. It's going to change. It will change. Things will get better. you got another five here as well. Here we have the Five of Swords, Three of Swords, the Hanged Man, the 
the Knight of Cups. We've also got the Queen of Swords. And our last card, let's see what comes through. Whoa, okay, we've got a few cards that came out. Let me just put the deck actually on this side. Let me just grab these cards off the floor. We've got the Three of Wands and the other two cards. Okay, we've got the Nine of Wands and we have the Moon. You will get through this. This too shall pass. I know you're probably thinking, but oh my gosh, we got the Five of Swords and the Three of Swords. Three of Swords here shows the current situation. It shows pain, right? But it also shows lessons. It's it's a it's a big lesson, you know, where I think that in the future you will look back at this and think, I was worrying quite a lot, but then it did pass, you know, I did get through it. And I think that in the future, if you ever come through to have, you know, any other kind of situations where you're un unsure about things, or maybe you are worried about things, you'll think back to this situation and you'll think, yeah, but everything was okay. I did get through it. And I think that that's what the Three of Swords here is really pointing towards, where it's showing a lesson, where it's showing in this particular situation, yes, you are quite worried, you're conflicted, you're unsure, um, you're wondering if everything is going to be okay. But then it's also showing that, yes, you, you don't feel so great during this time. That's what it's showing. It's showing, you know, uncertainty. It's showing um, pain for many of you. So much pain where you might be thinking, oh my God, this is like the worst thing ever. But also it's showing a lesson and it's showing that in the future you'll look back at this time and you'll think, you know what, but I got through this. And if I can get through that, I can get through anything. So yeah, it's definitely showing, um, you know, this energy with the five of swords of conflict, chaos, right? Unsurety. Fives and tarot, it's about change. You will get through this. I know that you will. And these other cards here reflect exactly just that. Nine of Wands, thinking, wondering, contemplating. Like I said, you know, you are overthinking things right now. And that's okay. It's not a bad thing. But it's the minute when we start to overthink to the point where it becomes toxic. That's when we, you know, have to just take a step back and think, okay, um, you know, how do I feel when I am constantly thinking about this, and is there anything I could, I can do, you know, maybe if I meditate a little bit or more, or maybe I touch and teach, touch and teach, touch into that root cause, you know, how will I feel? Can I have more faith during this time? So the Nine of Wands definitely shows, you know, a lot of that thinking energy, wondering, pondering, contemplating. But the Nine of Wands is also a beautiful blessing, because the Nine of Wands shows potential and progress. So just know, just know that. And also the hanged man shows a very intuitive energy as well. You know how you feel. You know what you feel. You know who you are to a degree, right? The hanged man here shows that you can use spirituality and yourself and your intuition as a tool to really progress through a time like this and just know that in time things will be okay. It's about having faith over fear. That's one of my biggest mottos and it's, it's really, really powerful. I really think it is. And also you've got the Knight of Cups here as well, which shows that you can get through this. You will get to that victory. You will get to where you want to be. It will happen. We've got so many cups here as well. You're on a journey and you will get to where you, you need to be and where you want to be. We've got here the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords shows clarity. It shows a sense of boundaries and it shows you having victory. Above everything, you have victory right it's I, I keep going like this and I keep touching my heart you know just placing my hand on my heart because I just think it's a beautiful energy of a victory you know you will be victorious you will get what you truly want in a situation which is everything will be okay it will align to your needs and then you've got here the three of wands so in time yes everything will be okay you know the three of wands here is also about sort of waiting for your ships to come in, waiting for things to progress, but it's also about knowing that in time things will be okay, they will be okay. And you've got the moon here, moon is about cycles and phases, so right now you may feel very emotional, you may feel all over the place, but the moon goes through its phases, right? And you are also going through a phase right now, so you will go into a new phase, a better phase, an exciting phase, where things will be okay, right? So 
Group number one, I do see that everything will be okay in regards to your situation, but right now is a, ta is a time for having faith over fear. That's the biggest thing I would say. So this is your reading. I hope it gave you lots of clarity, information and knowledge. And if you found that this resonates with you or if you have any comments in general about this reading, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And do check out the description box below if you're interested for any of the things that I previously mentioned, you know, private readings, all that good stuff, uh, bracelets, etc. It's all down below. And now I'm going to move on to group number two. So definitely do take care of yourself. group number two let's have a look and see if everything will be okay so whatever your scenario your situation is we're gonna have a look and see if everything will be okay I, I kind of want to leave this in the reading but then I also feel like what if it kind of gets in the way so I'm just gonna place it actually here and I am going to shuffle these cards we're gonna aim for 12 cards and I'm gonna go through the whole reading and give you as much information as I can in regards to the question. Will everything be okay? I have a feeling actually whilst I'm shuffling these cards, I might end up knocking this over, but let's have a look and see what happens. Um, they are circular, so please don't judge my um, shuffling because they will move around quite a bit. It's just the nature of these cards, to be honest. Okay. They are very noisy too. funny actually when I'm shuffling these because they just move around so much. Okay. Oh, let's take it. You know what? I was, these flipped over so I was trying to just sort of get them out but then this one came out and I, let's take it. Let's take it. It came out for a reason so... And it wasn't like a huge, humongous chunk of cards either. So, okay, let's st start with this many cards. I think the, the shuffling is always a mission with these cards, but I love these cards. They're so unique and so different, being, of course, circular. Let's begin. So we have here the Four of Pentacles. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go through each of these cards individually. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So, technically, we only have to add another three cards to this, but I'll get those three cards out last. Okay, so this is how I'm doing it. Okay. Four of Pentacles. We have the Chariot. We have here the King of Swords. I'm gonna actually place them in groups of three. Then we've got the Five of Pentacles. We have here, oh wow, these, you know, these illustrations are beautiful. We have here Temperance. Ooh, look at this. We've got the King of Cups. Wow. We have here the devil. Actually, I'm going to put that right here. We have the two of cups. I just realized I can't actually fit all the three rows. <laughs> well, the, the row of threes I can't fit on here, so I'd have to do four rows of three. So, yeah, it wouldn't actually fit properly in the screen. So I'm just going to do it like this. And then we have this card here, which is... Justice. Wow. Wow. Yes, in time, things will be okay. <laughs> There's your reading group number two. There we go. That's it. Just kidding. No, we have so much to talk about here. I mean, 
let me get those um, three cards out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Okay. So we need three cards. Let me just get these three cards out, and we shall continue. Okay. We've got bonus card. So we've got four. We have here the Knave of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles, we have got here the Emperor, and the Sun. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You know, what's really interesting about all of this is that the cards are beautiful, but also the messages in it. It's just relaying to me that things are going to be okay in time. You know, the chariot right there, front and centre, and even temperance, front and centre, literally in the me middle of your reading, you have this element of time. And that, you know, in time, things will balance each other out. Things will be okay. Uh, there is still progression that's happening, this is an angel card, and also that things step by step will be okay. So you might be thinking, oh, I really hope things will just, you know, be okay overnight. It will take a little bit longer than that. But overall, I do see things being okay. I do see your situation, what you're, you're visualizing in your mind that you have going on in your life right now. I do see it being very much so resolved in time. It will be, and it will actually make you feel really strong and very, very confident. Because temperance here is this beautiful Sagittarius energy about a moment in time, progression will happen. And I really also feel as well, it's, it's about nature and the universe being on your side and actually giving you what you truly deserve because we do have justice, right? And justice is such a strong energy about justice being served. You deserve everything to be okay. That's what the guides are saying. And that in turn will show you that you will get what you deserve. Things will be balanced. You will feel like, you know what? I'm in a place of power now. That's how you're going to feel. You're gonna feel like everything worked out in your favor, things, went in the direction that you wanted them to go in. That's how I'm feeling for you. And I feel really good saying that. I mean, you've got here the knave of pentacles. It's a work in progress. Things will happen for you. You will get what you set out to achieve on your journey. It will happen. Right now, there is uncertainty, right? There is this sort of feeling of, I'm not sure, but I'm not 100% certain. How situations are now and how they can be in the future are two completely different things. So, so different, right? Our situations in life change on a second by second basis, a millisecond by millisecond basis. But sometimes things take longer, of course, but there's always change and there's always progression. You know, about a few minutes ago, I was doing the group number one reading. Now I'm doing the group two reading. So things will always shift, things will always change. And that's the thing is that things will be okay. It will shift to being okay is what I'm seeing. And you know, this is really about being on that path, being on that journey to everything being okay. You're on the right path in your life. Even if you feel like you're not on the right path, sometimes we can be on certain paths where we're so uncertain that certain things will happen, but they will still happen. And that is the magic of the universe. That is the magic of progression, it is the magic of the divine that things happen in that way and sometimes we don't even realise it and it just happens. It can be super magical. Now we've got here the eight of pentacles. You're probably wondering why I'm starting at the top. I just really feel felt like starting at the top um, naturally so that's that's just what I'm, what I'm doing with this but the eight of pentacles here really showcases consistency, that consistency is coming your way. So this isn't just about one thing being okay in your life. This is everything. So if you are wondering, yeah, but you know, I mean, like I have so many things that I'm concerned about right now. Remember this reading is about everything. So it shows consistently everything in time 
being okay. Everything collectively, there's consistency to it, there's meaning to it, there's beauty to it, there's excitement to it. I really see it here and I think that it's um, a very, very beautiful energy. Now we have the Emperor and the Emperor is all about action being taken so yes things are going to be okay. All of these cards represent a yes, right? All of them represent a yes, but they also showcase lots of different pieces of information, which collectively, it's like a jigsaw puzzle, it tells a bigger picture. So the emperor being ruled by Aries here really showcases movement, it showcases authority, it showcases power, and it showcases potential, which we also saw with the justice card. It gives you more power, it makes you feel stronger, um, it gives you a higher level and uh, a higher sense of self-esteem. It just brings you more of that is what I'm seeing. Um, so that's really again something that I'm picking up quite strongly on the cards here. And the sun here shows absolutely there's more to come your way. There is warmth, there is growth, there is excitement, there's opportunity. This also showcases things being settled. This shows a beautiful radiant wash of energy just going over you. Things being healed is also something that I'm seeing here. And I really see things going in the direction where you feel like, yes, it points to more growth because that's what the sun does. The sun is actually shining today. I don't even have my light on today. And it's just this happy energy that I feel, you know, the sun is just, it brings us a burst of joy and happiness and excitement. And that's what I'm seeing in regards to things being okay. So I really feel this absolutely beautiful wash of energy where it feels like things are just going in the right direction, things progressing in the right direction. Oh, that's what I'm seeing. Everything is going to be okay. We do have the devil here as well, right? And the devil's ruled by Capricorn. So you may feel like you are chained to certain things, like certain things just have to happen the way that they happen in your life. You might be thinking that to yourself right now. But the devil also represents that Capricorn energy. And with time, you'll be able to break out of those chains. You'll be able to break out of those molds. Or you'll be able to break out of those cycles that maybe you feel you keep attracting into your life. So this is showing that you may feel like maybe, you know, the universe is controlling aspects of your life and just giving you things that maybe you don't want. But I know for a fact that you will break out of that. Because when we think of the Capricorn energy which rules the devil card, the Capricorn energy is not bad, right? But it can be about those notions that we perceive, which we think, but maybe this is happening for this particular reason, and maybe I'm just, I'm, I'm going to attract that for the rest of my life. I am seeing you breaking out of these chains. So try not to fear the chains and the cycles, but try instead to use the, af use the affirmation and say to yourself, I have broken that chain. I have broken that chain. Say that to yourself. Especially if you feel like you're always in a cycle and you always feel like you're getting the same things in your life or you feel like you just can't catch a break and everything is always just going wrong. Say that to yourself for sure. Because you will be able to break out of that. That's what I'm seeing. You know, and the Five of Pentacles here also shows change. So I know you might have been looking at these cards and thinking, you know, when I said that every single one of these cards shows a yes to everything being okay, you might have been looking at the Devil and the Five of Pentacles and thinking, um, Moonlight, really? I mean, really, I do. Because Fives and Tarot are about change, right? So you might be thinking, but no, everything might not be okay. You know, you might be thinking that in your mind, Everything will be okay. Fives and tarot are about change. This is also about loneliness, at times feeling lonely, at times feeling like maybe nobody understands your situation. But this is also about change. That's what fives are all about. You will break these chains. In fact, say to yourself, I have broken those chains. <laughs> it's, it's not a cycle here. Things genuinely in time get better. Anything you feel maybe inside you that you don't feel so good about or you feel emotionally overwhelmed in, things will get better, things will evolve. Again, our situation from before and our situation now, things will get better. I know that things will get better. It's going to be okay. 
it may not feel like it's being it's going to go okay but it will it will it's about having having your faith to say that things will be okay and in time you know things will get better things will be okay that your situation will change for the better because I, I see that I see that change for the better okay everything will be okay that's something that I am seeing and then you've got here I mean we've already talked about temperance so again that is about having faith because that's the angel in the middle of your reading and it's also showcasing water flowing from one cup to another which shows the energy is being balanced out again things being okay and then next to it we have got here the king of cups so both of these actually are our king so we've got the king of swords and the king of cups and it's actually the um, symbols at the top which tell us you know if it's a king a knave a queen um, etc because I think with this deck it can be sometimes difficult to tell which cards are which so um, you know I'm just letting you guys know that they are definitely both kings and the the king of cups here really showcases that everything will be okay to the point where you feel comfortable and confident in your emotions you feel comfortable com uh, I can't even speak confident and comfortable in regards to the whole situation because I think also in the future, if you ever get something like this again, or you feel unstable towards anything, really anything, you will look back at the situation and you'll think, well, I got through that, so I can get through this, you know? So it definitely brings upon a huge amount of stability, a huge amount of confidence. I don't necessarily see the same thing being repeated yet again, but anything, anything that you feel uncertain about in the future, you will look back at this and you'll think, well, I got through that. So I can definitely get through this. It just gives you more stability and more power, gives you more comfort, I think. And the Two of Cups also shows a balancing of energies. We see that with the Temperance card where you've got these two cups and water flowing from one to the other. Beautiful balancing set of energies and it definitely shows the energies being intertwined. So it shows you feeling, you know, later on much more comfortable with how things panned out in this situation and uh, you feeling much more emotionally sort of stable in it as well. Four of Pentacles here, everything will be okay. Um, I, I very much so, I, I do see that there because the Four of Pentacles also is about stability. The Fours in Tarot are about foundations, it's about stability. And again, I see that there. Chariot here shows that in time things will be okay. Okay, that's about forward movement, progression. It's about potential, it's about a journey. And it's also part of the journey as well. You know, sometimes that chariot might be on its way and it might come across a pothole. Oh no, if it goes into that pothole and gets um, a flat tire or a puncture, it's it's fixable, but it was part, you know, it was part of the journey. And then on the chariot goes again. You know, even though I'm sure maybe chariots probably couldn't really, they're not normal tires, are they? But it's just my little analogy. It's, it's just the way I saw it in my mind, you know, I didn't think about the details necessarily of, you know, what kind of um, wheels, should I say, the chariot has, but it's, it's that sort of analogy, you know, um, it's just an example that I'm putting through. So it, it seems to me like this is part of the journey and it also is part of the journey to make you stronger, to, I guess, give you more experience, to make you feel stronger in the future if you ever come across something that you're uncertain about to think, okay, well, I got through that so I can get through anything. That's what I'm seeing. That's what the chariot is all about. It's ruled by cancer, so it is about this nurturing energy, and it is about um, being part of the journey. Now, with that king of swords that we have right at the bottom right there, it gives you clarity. It gives you confidence. It gives you this sense of, I can do anything. I have power. I it's ultimate, you know, it's the ultimate. So that's what I'm seeing here. And yes, I do see things being resolved because the King of Swords is about things being resolved. It's about things being communicated. It's about everybody being essentially on the same page. And it's also about leadership. And the other thing with the King of Swords is that it really does point to truth and clarity, honesty, loyalty, and trust, which I see really being built throughout this entire situation as well and essentially the helping hand where things you know are okay so I do feel that you will get a, get a helping hand in regards to this situation as well so 
group number two, this is your reading in regards to will everything be okay? If this resonates or if you have any comments, in the com um, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And definitely do check out the description box below for more information on um, private paid readings, free reading giveaway, bracelets, etc. All that good stuff is down there. Hope you have a lovely day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching this. And definitely do take care of yourself as well. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to group number three. I'm just going to move the little crystal ball to the side. Alright, so group number three, let's have a look and see, will everything be okay? So I have the cards here, I'm going to do a 12 card spread, or at least I'm going to aim for a 12 card spread, and I'm going to give you lots of information and knowledge and clarity as we progress through this reading. So let's begin, let's see if everything will be okay. Oops, there we go, it's better. We've got a card that's just flipped over. Will everything be okay? Okay, we've got a bunch of cards come out. So I'm just going to lay out the cards to begin. So let's see. We have got here the... Five of Cups, Ace of Cups, we have also got Judgment. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We've got the Four of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Swords. We've got the Seven of Cups, the Lovers. with the Four of Cups, Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, and the last card, believe it or not, you know, you might be looking at this entire reading and thinking, whoa, that's insane. I mean, Seven of Swords, Five of Cups, you know, you might be, Four of Cups, you might be looking at that and thinking, but Moonlight, where is my abundance? It doesn't really seem to me like maybe things will be okay. But I want to say, we do have some pretty amazing cards. And you know what your last card is? The Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Frickin' Fortune. Ruled by Jupiter. It's all about abundance. It may feel to you like maybe things are not going to be okay. You may really, really think that. And I don't blame you. You know, we always, as human beings, we can just, you know, think of things the way we want to think of them based on our situation, based on our experiences, our life experiences, for example. And, you know, we, we might think like, okay, well, based on, you know, past experiences, previous experiences, maybe the situation won't be okay. But I want to tell you that it really will be okay. I really do. I want to say that straight away with this reading, that things will be okay. And the Five of Cups here does show sadness. It does show some form of unsurety. You know, you're not sure, you're wondering, you're probably thinking um, or getting really, really upset over the situation. But I want you to know that Fives and Tarot are about change. And the Five of Cups here is also about looking at some cups that have spilt over but not looking at the ones that are standing upright and that's an analogy that actually stems from the original Rider Waite deck right where we might be thinking that everything is going wrong 
Whereas there can be still some things going right in your life, you know, the basic things in your life might actually be going okay, but because there are a few things that really take up majority of your energy, you might feel like then everything is going wrong and everything isn't okay when there can be some really simple things in our life that are actually still going okay. So I I kind of see that in, in the back of my mind or on the sort of more forefront of my mind. I literally thought my computer just died. Oh my gosh, sorry. I sort of waved my hand right in front of you, but I need to plug the charger in. That's what happens when I do an hour long reading. Gosh, I literally thought I'd lost the reading. Okay, so, you know, the five of cups here is such um, an important energy because it really shows that, you know, it things will be okay. Things will be okay. And all is not lost literally, as I literally thought I'd lost this reading. All is not lost. It's not. You've got next to it the Ace of Cups, which shows abundance, and it shows that things are going to be okay. It shows that you are going to gain what you truly want in this situation, that things will manifest in the direction that you want things to go in. It also shows, you know, have confidence in yourself, know that things will be okay, have, you know, do affirmations, say certain intentions, it will be okay reaffirm that to yourself and say that it will be okay everything will be okay there are still some certain things in my life that are okay but there are certain things that are overriding that energy and that are making me feel like everything is going wrong it may feel like everything is going wrong there are still some elements in your life that are that are going okay and so you know it's it's um an energy of um it's an energy of of when you feel like think everything is going wrong, sometimes, you know, I think it's important for us to, to know that panic causes more panic, fear causes more fear, and negativity attracts more negativity. So if you can try and find just the smallest positive in a scenario where you think there is absolutely no positive, that can have such a beautiful impact in the overall scenario and the situation because a lot of things are based on energy as well. So if you feel like everything is going wrong and you're like, no moonlight, but really everything is going wrong, just finding a little spark of positivity, a little piece of hope can really change things because I really see that positivity here can attract positivity. That's definitely something I'm seeing. So I do see everything being okay. I do see you getting that cup of abundance. It will happen for you. There are definitely some things that you're upset about right now, you're worried about right now, but I know that they will be okay. Those things will transform because judgment is ruled by Pluto. Pluto is all about transformations. You know, Pluto might be small, but Pluto is huge in terms of energy, right? So that's the thing. I mean, it's a dwarf planet, so... <laughs> uh, but it's still, it's got this transformative energy attached to it. Small things come in big packages. Just saying. Maybe some, you know, maybe that phrase actually resonates with some of you on a like a deeper level. But I'm just saying, things are going to change. Things are going to transform. Now let's move to the Knight of Pentacles. See, slowly but surely, things are changing. Things are manifesting for you. Things are coming together to the point where you do feel stable in the situation. You do feel like things will be okay. You do feel like things are going in the right down the right path as well. We've got the lovers here, which also showcases this very, very strong energy of, you know, getting what you truly want in the situation, that everything will be okay. You know, everything will be okay. The lovers is also about feeling good towards the situation and feeling like, okay, well, maybe in that situation, things didn't seem okay, but now they're okay. So I do feel that in the future, you will think that as well. And I definitely feel that the lovers is going to allow you to also see that there is a lot of positive in this situation and that things will be okay, even though there are some challenges, there are some obstacles, especially with that seven of swords. It does show that you will get through those challenges and obstacles and the night shows that you're going to get through that. It's part of the journey, but you will also reach some true abundance here with the lovers it's going to be okay to the point where you actually feel so much love towards your situation as well um, and, and yourself. That's what I'm seeing. So we have here the Seven of Cups, right? The Seven of Cups is how we essentially want things to be and how we align what's currently happening to our vision. 
So your dreams, your fantasies, you might always be comparing your life to your dreams and your fantasies and be thinking, but that's not how I envision it to be. That's not what I want it to be. In the future, I really do feel that your, your life will align to your dreams. It will. But right now, we just have to find that bit of positivity and hope and maybe not compare ourselves too much to our, um, you know, perfect vision. Because naturally, not everything will be perfect, but it can be close to perfect. Okay, so right now, I think the best thing and the best thing to do is just to find that bit of hope, to know that everything will be okay. And then eventually, as time goes by, you will really start to align what you want to happen to the, the situation will automatically align to what you want to happen and your, your dreams. So having dreams is not necessarily a bad thing, but when we always compare our dreams to what's happening now or if we're seeing other people get certain things and it's not what we have, it can make us feel worse. It can make us feel 10 times not so great. So that's just what I'm seeing is that the Seven of Cups is about your dreams. It's also about signs and synchronicities. Pay attention to signs and synchronicities. If you're seeing repeating numbers, it means that you're on the right path, especially if you see 11-11 a lot. For example, right now on my time, it's 14-41. So it goes 1-4-4-1 um, on my, when I'm filming this video in the afternoon. So yeah, 14-41, that is also, um, well, it's kind of a repeating number. It's, I mean, it's not really, but sort of. 1441, <laughs> kind of. So it's just something that I am seeing is that if you are seeing a lot of repeating numbers, they all mean different things. So you can go to Google, you can type them in, see what they mean for your situation. But also if you're seeing 1111 a lot, which is very common, then it means you're on the right path in your life. But what we don't want to do right now is um, compare ourselves so much to our dreams to the point where we Perhaps we feel like failures if it's not exactly the way we want it to be or if there's something, if this situation, you know, is not exactly perfectly what you want it to be, don't be hard on yourself. That's just what I'm seeing. Eventually things will align to how you want it to be. But right now we've got to find that hope. We've got to find that positivity. I think that's really important. It's always step by step. So the Seven of Swords here shows an energy sometimes where, you know, we just feel betrayed. We Perhaps we feel betrayed by certain people. We may feel betrayed by our own energy sometimes as well, especially if you feel like you are not understanding why you feel this way or you feel like you don't understand why certain people do certain things. You know, that's the Seven of Swords speaking. And sometimes we can control it. And especially if it's to do with other people, we can't really control their actions and things like that. But there are certain things in, in ourselves that we also sometimes can't control. Maybe we have a lot of anxiety or maybe you are overthinking so much to the point where you think, I don't know how to stop doing that. So the Seven of Swords here shows that energy. You know, it's like a sort of sabotaging energy that we feel at times, whether it's within ourselves or with other people. But this is also a shifting energy because, you know, what we do have is this five of pentacles and the five of pentacles shows you know at times feeling lonely left out not getting quite getting what you want and when you combine that and then you're thinking about your dreams positivity needs to attract positivity so in regards to everything being okay I think that's the big sort of message that the guys want to give you is try and be as positive as you can try and think of you know that little glimmer of hope keep that in your mind anytime you know, you feel like you're getting consumed by so much energy where you're thinking, nope, nothing ever good is going to come in my life. Everything's not going to be okay. The world is just like this and the world is like that. And, you know, I think it's best really to find that little hope. It's totally fine to reflect, but the minute it becomes toxic, you know, then we have to sort of um, just revert a little bit and find that hope. But the Five of Pentacles shows and again, an energy that can change because fives and tarot are about change. So this is about, you know, again, feeling like you haven't quite got what you wanted, but it also shows, again, change. The Four of Cups also here, right, shows an energy of perhaps being rejected or feeling rejection. Rejection can actually make people stronger in the long term. So if ever you feel rejected, just know that it's actually not your fault, okay? It's, it's not necessarily your fault. Even if you feel like you're at fault, when you get rejected, it just means that in that point in time, you just weren't quite right for it. But it doesn't mean that you can't be right for that thing in the future. This is just something that's playing in regards to time. As we grow, as we evolve, we gain more experience, we learn more things. 
things always evolve in time. So just because the timing isn't right, something about timing not being right is coming through here. If timing isn't right right now, it doesn't mean it can't be in the future. And that's what I'm seeing with the Wheel of Fortune, right? That's what I'm seeing. In the, in, in the future, timing is right. We've got the Nine of Swords, okay? So there's definitely something that's really upsetting you, something that, you know, you might not be able to sleep at night. You might feel like you just can't do anything or you're sad or you're upset or you're just overthinking like crazy. So it's what the Nine of Swords is showing, but the Nine of Cups in contrast is showing a wish come true. So you may feel like this now, but you're not gonna feel like that forever. I just want to let you know that as well because this shows a wish come true. The Three of Pentacles here shows teamwork, collaboration, harmony and balance. It's mutual energy. So again, this shows that everything in the situation that you're thinking about will be okay. It will be okay. It shows things working out. So I think that that's a really beautiful energy. And also Threes and Tarot are about lessons. So there are lots of lessons I feel in this situation that have been learnt, that have been adapted, that will also in the future... It will make you feel stronger, but it will also strengthen all of those things in your life that you want to stay consistent as well. So that's what I'm seeing there. You've got the Eight of Wands, which shows so much progression. It shows so much potential and it shows things really working out in a beautiful way where there is progression. There are ideas. There's just, you know, you feeling like your ideas are being listened to, but you also feeling like there's so much movement in your life. Things are not stuck and stagnant and just feeling, you know, maybe a bit down, or you feeling down, you feel like things are finally on its, you know, things are finally on the move, you're finally not just crawling, you're actually running, you know, that's how it feels, and the Wheel of Fortune being ruled by Jupiter, it shows that abundance is all yours, in the future you're going to look back to the situation and think, wow, things were crazy, but I got through it, I got through that, and you're going to be, you're going to feel really proud, you're going to be like, I got through all of that, and it just is showing you that abundance is truly all yours. Number 10, right? Number 10, the Wheel of Fortune in the Major Arcana. This is humongous, humongous, ginormous. I mean, so much abundance. It's just, it's going to explode. This abundance is going to explode your way. And I think that all of this frustration, or sadness or upset that you have faced, it's going to make you the strongest person ever. You are going to feel on fire. You're going to feel so confident and so strong in the future for sure that you look back at this situation and you'll think, I got through that. I literally got through that. And again, everything is going to be okay collectively, right? Because it's a 10. A 10 that symbolizes fortune, prosperity, auspiciousness, all of it collectively will be okay. It will really go hand in hand with your dreams and how you've been visualizing things. So group number three, this is your reading. And if this resonates with you, if you have any other comments, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Definitely do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and my bracelets, which are on Etsy. And I hope you have a lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this, and definitely take care.